and then actually have something that we can keep on yeah. producing. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that'd be perfect. In the sun? That way we can see the metal that's in there. Oh, it's flopping. Did it, did it start dropping down? What? It started melting? Yeah. They can't hear you because you don't have a microphone. Oh. No microphone. <laughs> some, uh, Monday, some, yes. some week and some month of the year. No, it's just yeah. March 2025. This is way later. Yeah, March uh, 2025. We got Monday. caught up with engine builds and heads and yeah, a bunch of things. Which keeps on going and keeps on going. Anyway, we've so, still got this this part to do. Yeah. Uh, this is an intake. For a, a two barrel, either a two barrel Weber or a two barrel Weber copy throttle body that's gonna go yeah. on uh, one of the four carb 140 heads. That uh, This was 3D printed. Mm -hmm. It was designed in CAD. And instead of being the straight tube thing, it's got a really cool, uh, it'll be really cool very ergonomic flow, nice, very nice curves to it. Yeah, and it's all it's in lofted. Foam, of course, it's lofted. Yeah, it's all it's all uh, dipped in uh, in the refractory and yeah, got the gating on it, and it's just ready to to uh, cut the wood off the the, the top sprue there mm -hmm. and put it in the sand. So that's what we're going to plan on here today. We're going to cast this. We're going to cast about five pounds of aluminum. Yeah. Uh, and pay attention to the video because we're going to have our new crucible tools to pick it up and to pull yeah. it with. Instead of using the cheese ball little pliers and other thing we're... So we're going to cast this. Yep, we have a new pouring cup, you'll see. New pouring cup, yep. new... Very nice uh, high yeah. temp uh, ceramic, super lightweight pouring cup. Yep. We're going to do that. So we've got some updates uh, in the tooling and then the pouring cup. Do you have the... Do you have the original version of these? Where no, you... I have no more to show. No more? I have none to show. Okay. Uh, you have pictures of them? Yeah, I have a picture. I, I'll well, you can see it, it. here. Uh, it, it's. They're tapered straight tubes. Tapered straight tubes. Outside and inside were tapered, just. Yeah. And then uh, angle cut. Uh, and then the top and bottom plates were, were also different diameter holes and mm -hmm. then taper cut, and it was just welded and. Gobs and gobs of work. It's really cool, but it's a lot of work. And and we're hoping that this step, yeah, is gonna. This was what it speed up. How long was this print? I have to double check. I'll put it on the screen now. However long it was, I'm pretty sure it was like 11 hours or something. It was. Was it quite a bit? Yeah. Ridiculously long, really. But I I, did, I clicked the button and I walked away, and so it did it. And then we did something else. And then you yeah. come back and you grab it. So <clears throat> that's that's very nice. Uh, I have seen the other suggestions. The uh, right now we do not have a tube to evacuate the gases. No, we don't. We're not including because, that. Yeah, well, because the refractory is supposed to allow the gas to to escape through the refractory into the yeah. sand. We also got a much bigger vibrator. We're gonna put one we're gonna more put, on the on the bucket. Yeah, and, and then we're gonna uh, double bucket it. it, double bucket it up because that's too tall. Yeah, it's too, too tall, tall for, for, for a single so we bucket. We have to put a, a, a second bucket on top. One key's in the other, so this will work fine just to keep everything intact. And then we'll do the pour and wait about 30 minutes, and then we'll do a dump on it, mm -hmm. uh, dump it out, and uh, have a look. Yeah, I'll show you guys the result. Yeah. And uh, the one thing that I'm worried about with this is not filling this thin, these thin tubes all yeah, the way. Yeah, they're fairly... Because it has to fill from both sides. It has to fill from, the, from you know, this side and that side. That's, how I... that's why there's so many sprues on this thing. We want, we want a we lot of... we want the uh... maximum amount of volume to flow in there. Yeah. That's also why we have the pouring cup now. Yes. Because we want to give it, you know, a very large volume to flow through. And that'll give enough weight yeah. to, to hopefully you know, burn out the uh, lightweight 3D print Yeah. before the aluminum freezes. Yeah. It's, gotta, it's gotta remain molten long enough, so we want enough volume going in that it burns all that out, and then we get a good print out of it, and, yeah. a, and a good casting, so we'll see. And technically, this just could be a test, really, because this is not scaled correctly. We don't, yeah, it, may, it might not be scaled correctly, and we'll find out once the casting is done, we'll take some measurements on center to center, the mounting holes and the center to center on the, on the yeah. top and bottom main, the, the mixture holes, and see how does that relate to what the drawing is precisely. Uh, and if yeah. it's off, then we can make our correction in a print, do another print, and then actually get the casting to go. We don't know if we have an issue with the printer. Yeah. Um, not printing to scale. Somehow. Uh, but yeah. only certain features. Only sometimes. Yeah, there's uh, some oddities going on. So this is just a kind of yeah. a all around test for, see what the heck we have going on. Yeah. And if it if it comes out fine, it comes out fine. And if not, we throw it in the in the 
crucible and melt it down. Melt down again, do another one. Yeah. So this is gonna be the first first print of this. There's gonna be more, definitely. Yeah, I have an order time. for two of these at this point, so for a customer's engine. And uh, so we have to, you know, I, I'd really like to get these and figure this out and get it cast and accurate and, yeah. and be able to finish them off for him and then actually have something that we can keep on yeah. producing. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Two barrel throttle bodies on each side would be pretty cool. Really cool. <laughs> Where we are right now, we're gonna do some stuff and get everything prepped and then show yeah. you the bore. Yeah. And then show you the result. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Yep. New sand. Not because we want a new sand, but just, we, you know, we need more sand actually. Yeah, we need more sand for the bucket because we're gonna do a double bucket. Yeah, this is the next day from that intro. Yeah. So this is now Tuesday, the day before we're gonna have lots of rain. Lots of rain. rain. Even though it's crystal blue, clear skies. Yeah. Nice. What are we doing this over here? Yes, that'd be perfect. In the sun. That way we can see the metal that's in there. Mm-hmm. And maybe the camera can see it too. Oh, he's going for it right now. Anyway, uh, here's the new stuff. This guy. Yeah, so we got a this ring that's gonna pick the crucible picks up. Picks the crucible up. And then we've got the tongs too. We've got too. tongs here. That's gonna pick it, yeah, yeah. It'll pick it up the other way. Pick it up out of the kiln. Yeah, and they're long and they're they're nice. We we tested them out, we made sure they were the right length and all the stuff, so. Mm -hmm. We also didn't cut this <laughs> this <laughs> this rod down. These uh, this thing's extremely long for like literally no reason. <laughs> it's going off the bottom of the screen. It's super long for no reason. So I just kind of wanted to get this started and see about where. So we need a lot of sand in here. Oh hell yeah! Before this goes on. Okay. Oh, it's flopping. Did it, did it start dropping down? What? It started melting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now the exciting part. Yeah. Now we wait. Watching the grass grow. Mm -hmm. Once we get to melt some more, then you can back it off a tiny bit. Yeah. Boom. Backed off. Excited? We gotta try it. Wait. Ready? Mm-hmm. Yes. I did. Oh, well, we did. Is it very heavy? Whoa, you got it by the uh, scruff, scruff of the neck there. Yes, it's quite heavy. Whoa. Okay. It is quite heavy. Okay, you can get the lid on. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Is the camera watching us? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Got to keep up with it. Don't let it fall. Did fall. I couldn't control it. No, I know. I saw that. Is that all of it in there? I hope that's, that's all the metal. Okay. That's very hot. Yeah. Watch out for that. Mm -hmm. So you want to pick this up? You made a pick, I, these gloves are. Those gloves suck? No, I don't know. I'll try. I can't get it the way we talked. No, I know. There's nothing. No. 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. Hopefully got enough metal. Yeah. Oh man, that's crazy. I think crazy. we do. I think we do. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was worried about that the, it's just a circle, it's just a ring. There's nothing to hold it from, you know, 
No. Falling in any way. Well, we need a little slide, like a toggle, and you can, it'll slide a... I don't think you want to be reaching down there and getting no, near that thing while No, it's... no, no, it'll be further back. The toggle will be further back with a rod coming forwards, and we'll have just a pivot point with a finger that comes over. Oh, on the back side? Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you push the toggle, it snaps in place and it goes, doink, on, okay. the, on the back edge of the ring. Yeah, okay. Yeah, of the, of the crucible. Yeah. Look at that stuff. What has happened to that stuff? Well, we didn't bake it, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, we did not bake it. It didn't catch on fire and burn up. And it's it's cool on the outside. Yeah, of course it's cool on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> but the that thing crucible, is, if you had more metal, it would have fallen over sooner. Sooner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and spilled even more on the side. Yeah. So what we got to do is let some of this stuff cool off. We're going to get our big piece of blue plastic. Set it here. We'll drag that over. Dump it on there. Yep. Like we did before. Yep. That way we can clean everything up. Yeah. And, uh... It's extremely heavy. <laughs> That's why Kelly's got it on wheels. Yeah, a freaking dolly. There it is. How does it look? Uh, uh, maybe. Huh. Maybe. Huh. Oh man. Okay. That's pretty. There's water right here. That's pretty interesting looking. That looks... Wow, that's still extremely hot. I think it just didn't burn out like it was supposed to. Yeah. And I don't think it was because we ran short of metal because there's a big mass all the way up there. You can see the shrinkage happened in here as it cooled. So this this cooled and it sucked from here, right? This is this doesn't have any shrinkage. Yeah. This is where it was contracting because it was shrinking, but we're so far from the part that just didn't didn't complete simply because it didn't have enough energy to to uh, burn that all the way out. See even up in here. So yeah, all of this is just shy. Here, here. I wonder if these little stupid things help. Oh, they had to, because this is fully, fully blown out. Yeah. Wedged, yeah, yeah. But see, we got so much here and here that that would have been, if that had been foam, it would have been easy just to go across. Yeah. yeah this is a lot of gating. And oh, we were hoping the extra gating would have, would carry enough volume. Yeah. That it would, would give enough time with the, with the head pressure to allow that to burn through. I was, yeah. that was really concerned about the, the coming together of the two sides. I think if we just had the sprue on one side, it would have went whoop, and it would have been missing half. Half, yeah, we've just been missing half. But what we have is a, uh, something that we can check our, our center to centers. We know what those are yeah. uh, on the top and bottom and uh, see if we have any accuracy in the, in the print. But okay. you know, huh? and this, this is actually a fairly thin wall. If you look at it, that's extremely thin. Well, that's what it's designed to, yeah. Sixteenth of an inch. Very thin wall, yeah. It. We probably need to bump that up to three sixteenths. Really but it looks print. no. It's really not gonna. It's pass. not gonna print. Yeah. I think if we cut these gates off, it'll be able to stand on its own, or is it sure fall apart because this is missing a core? Oh, it might. Around. Yeah. It's, well, this is gonna support over here. This is this is fully formed here. Yeah, the back side is fully formed. Which way was this in the? I don't know. Thing? We'll give you more info. We'll clean it up and then we'll do some measuring and, and give you all some more info. Yeah. So, bam, it looks so good from this side and then it looks like shit from this side. The conclusion that I think we've come to is first, not enough aluminum, which is a great, nice uh, rookie mistake uh, to make. I do think if we had more aluminum in the crucible though, it would have fallen over more and potentially splashed more aluminum out into the surrounding sand. So we're limited on our tools at the moment. Uh, the next one is, I think we didn't have enough temperature in the aluminum, the aluminum wasn't hot enough when it came through and burned this out. I think that's some of the reason why this wasn't filled in because the decomposition temperature of the 3D printed foam is twice as much as the regular expanded foam. 
and because the the foam the 3d printed foam is about twice the density or probably more in, t in terms of these very thin wall tubes uh, you end up with the foam the 3d printed foam taking a lot more energy to burn out so it uses up the kinetic and the internal energy of the aluminum because it's molten it's at some temperature uh, it's using up that energy to burn away the material and so that just takes takes energy and ends up uh, you end up getting basically these fronts of the aluminum flowing in there just slowly solidify and they can't go any further and you know whether that's due to not enough head pressure because we ran out of aluminum because uh, this is actually the top uh, this is the bottom it filled in a lot better uh, I think maybe that's also to blame a little bit is we didn't have enough head pressure because we didn't have enough aluminum uh, and maybe we didn't have a tall enough gate or sprue going in yeah it's a lot of factors that go into this but I would say aluminum wasn't hot enough we didn't have enough mass flow rate we didn't have enough aluminum and I think the quadruple gates worked to, to some degree to fill in the mounting plates for both of these but it wasn't perfect the other thing is this is much bigger i can show a picture of it uh sitting on a head this is much larger than it's supposed to be and the main reason for that for that is because our printer for some reason it's a, some weird ghost in the machine that we haven't really figured out yet it seems like it prints certain features larger or smaller than it should and so we ended up increasing the scale of the foam 3d print in order to account for this difference in size that was actually due to the printer printing the features wrong not due to shrinkage or expansion of the aluminum if that makes any sense uh, so the printer was printing stuff small and so we would measure it and we'd be like oh well the actually the aluminum the the foam needs to be bigger because the aluminum is shrinking no the foam was the wrong size in the first place too we just didn't check that uh, until we got around to printing the handles for the Deandria, whatever. That's a whole other video. So this is an old print we did uh, of the same thing on this side. It's uh, it's very similar. It, it looks uh, pretty good, but this is perfect. Uh, and this is way too large. So I, you know, that's a printer issue. We're actually just uh, ordered the Bamboo Lab H2D 3D printer because it can do multi-material, which is not that useful for us, but we do have two printer heads on our printer right now. So we do two materials uh, pretty regularly. We switch back and forth between the foam and the PETG. Uh, but it also has so many sensors that it can detect a bunch of stuff. And it's almost just a plug and play. You plug it in and you go and you can just start printing. Whereas this, ours right now, it's, it's a, you know, a fairly custom printer, uh, kind of small company that that may designed some stuff for it and it's just it's too much hassle it's another hobby on top of uh, another hobby and i don't want to have to do a bunch of work to get my printer to work so i think the new bamboo lab was gonna be pretty nice yeah i think for next time uh we're gonna upgrade the grabber or the the picker upper pours the crucible and then we're gonna upgrade uh we're gonna increase the temperature of the aluminum we're also gonna in increase the amount of aluminum we pour and I don't know if we're going to do a different gating system. It depends on what you guys think in the comments. Uh, please give us recommendations. We will do some stuff. And uh, based on your recommendations, we'll probably do some other things and see if we can get a better result. And uh, I know we can cast these. Uh, it's just a matter of time before we get the, the entire process down and uh, have them available actually for you as a to buy for your for your 140s so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh you know like and subscribe and all that stuff this is the third time i've said that in a video so there you go